Hello, my name is Carlotta. I'm Anna. And we are Heinz. And this is Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Leisha from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Heinz. Hello. Hola. 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 How are you both doing today? Very good, yeah. actually. Today, I mean, we arrived to Toronto and we feel like, wow, we haven't realized that we really love this city. So. Yeah, Canada in general, like, we love it. It's so kind mm -hmm. and cool. It's cold though. It's a, little chill, it's a little chillier this time, this time around. Yeah. But we're excited to have you back. So thank you for chatting with us today. Thank you. So you have to tell me a little bit about this current tour you're on. I feel like you have been touring relentlessly throughout the year. So how is everything going right now? Uh, actually, this tour is going going pretty good, like very successful. It's like the, uh, it's the last tour we're going to do of this album, of Leave Me Alone. So it feels, it feels feels like a goodbye in every city, you know what I mean? Like, okay, this is the last time we're gonna play the debut album in Toronto or in Chicago or whatever. So it feels feels emotive. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like you're taking your music all over the place. And you even said the other day, you feel like you're taking over the world little by little. <laughs> so where would you love to take over a perform that you've yet to take, Heinz? Mm. I mean, we do, we do, we always have said that we'd love um, North Korea. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty hard. Yeah, but uh, we haven't been to Africa either. Mm -hmm. so That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. And then we've pretty much well, we have we've not like toured that much South America as we'd like to. Yeah. Uh, but I'm so sure it's gonna be like so, like soon that mm -hmm. I don't even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's next on the list. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, seeing that you're always in such close corners when touring together, whether in the van, like we were talking before the interview, or just in the venues all the time, have mm -hmm. you discovered any quirks or funny, interesting things about one another? We discovered recently <laughs> that Ade, the bass player, wants to, once, once she dies, she wants to become a ghost. Okay. And we like didn't, like, seriously. Like, yeah, you, you didn't and know you that. You can talk with her for, like, hours and hours, and she's going to explain why she wants to be a ghost yeah. and why she <laughs> thinks that's better than just dying and, <laughs> and going anywhere. Like, yeah, that yes. was pretty crazy. And that's a thing that I never expected about her. Like, it doesn't it's make so any sense. <laughs> her personality. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. she just threw a total curveball. And you guys know each other very well, so for yeah. that to come out of nowhere must have really surprised you. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, it always happens in America because, like, the haunted things is, like, bigger in here. Like, because yeah. in Europe, no one talks about ghosts or anything. Not yeah, that much, at least. In, yeah. yeah, And in here, like, our tour manager does, and she has these crazy stories. And, like, um, the guy that's selling the merch is the same. Like, like yeah, even, everyone even is around. We, we tour with Actually, Public Access TV, yeah. okay. they told us so many stories. So, like, mm. suddenly, when we're in America, I don't know why ghosts are, like, a subject. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a thing we need to talk about. And and yeah, she was like, yeah, no, because I believe that, yeah, no, because like I think I'll become like, like it'll be cool to become a god. And like we started like, what do you mean it'll be cool? Yeah, I mean I think once you die, I'm, you're gonna be a that's ghost. It's the thing I'm gonna do. Like, yeah, like I, I want to be a ghost. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and how about the both of you? Do you believe in ghosts or the supernatural? No, no, not at all. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's true that it's pretty scary when they tell you start, like, but at the end, you're not like. Yeah, I'm no, not you always a no. ghost coming around. I mean, I find it funny to 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 follow the the stories they tell you. Like, like I really love being scary and stuff. Like, like uh, it's a it's a theme that I like. But <laughs> I kind of um, cheat in cheat on myself. Like, I really don't believe in nothing. In nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in nothing like that. Well, on the music front, we must discuss your debut album, Leave Me Alone. You actually just released a deluxe version of this album, which is mm -hmm. very cool. There are some cell phone demos, some covers, a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. people have never heard before. I didn't think people were going to ever hear these demos. So what changed your no, mind? Please. Why did you want to put them out there? <sighs> just like, um, we always do the things we would love to, like our idols and icons to, to make. And like suddenly mm -hmm. thinking, wow, can you imagine like Julian Casablanca suddenly uh, t like yeah. printing a record with like the um, demos, like really dim not like, oh uh, yes, this is a demo that in a you proper studio you're gonna stuff, put like, out. No, like, no, no, no. Yeah. Literally just like, Shh, Carlota, no, again, again. <laughs> 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 like so many like mistakes and like talking yeah. with each other, like laughs and like everything. Hmm. Um, the thing is that yeah, we wanted to make clear that these demos are not like 
okay, the song is gonna be like this. It's yeah. exactly the opposite. It's like the it's first the, moment. Exactly, the baby step. You're like yeah. reading the lyrics like, ah, no, and now it comes A instead of B, and there are like so many mistakes and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Like, we all, we call them demos, but we should make another world. Because yeah. like, demos is what you do once you have the song. So yeah, once you have, have like the structure and everything. Like, like when you want to test how the record is gonna be and like the production. But yeah, we need a new name. Yes, we need a new name. <laughs> Ideas. <laughs> <laughs> songs in the air in brackets afterwards <laughs> <laughs> well there's a demo on there of your song fat calmed kiddos ever since seeing that title i've always wondered to you what is a fat calmed kiddo because even though you say it in the song i still don't have necessarily an idea of how you came up with that term because we work a lot with images and we thought that for real having fat calm kiddos around your bed and touching your pillow without you knowing it we think it's pretty like disturbing. So in that song that we're talking about that moment um, in a relation that that in a relationship that you realize that suddenly everything you thought is not is not happening or is not true or is you've like dishonesty and stuff like shit. Um, I'm I mean like when you you have like a catharsis. I don't know if you have that word Catharsis, catharsis maybe a cathartic moment. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, like, when in, when in a theater play, the main character suddenly discovers all the truth of his past and stuff. So that song is about that moment. So suddenly having those kiddos touching your <laughs> things, like, yeah, the, the, the place you're going to put your face. So a little asleep. eerie, a little creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, super I mean, it's creepy. Like, I feel like all the lyrics are, like, as if we were describing a music video. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. all the images you would see, like, for, a, like, a nice music video in a creepy way, we just, like, roll in now. <laughs> well, speaking about music videos, you shared one for Bamboo, this animated one, where you're yeah. doing some very mischievous, naughty things in it. <laughs> My favorite thing is when you go to the unicorn, you're just like, yeah. give me your eye. So <laughs> when you look back at all the crazy things that happened in that video, what are some that you really enjoyed that your characters pulled off? I really love the way, I mean, she burns the Hollywood sign, yeah. the whole Hollywood sign, and I think that's I thought you were so just going to cool. take yeah. the H, but you went full, yeah. you went full on with <laughs> that <know>. one. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. And also when when Ember it talks to, he's the god of um, Trenos, uh, thunders, but in our minds he's the proper god. <laughs> <laughs> Which so ones did you cool. really like? Just all of it. It's just like <laughs> such crazy like video. Like I don't know. It just like it was all on the um, Larina Paprina, like the um, the drawer. Drawer. Yeah, we were like mm. we only told her like we want to be like thieves or like. Um, what uh, superheroes or, or, or like okay. ninja inspectors? Like we're yeah. like we want to be yeah. these kind of like characters, and like yeah, she just like did everything, and we absolutely love it. And it's so cool because mm. usually we make everything like the music videos and like mm. the smallest things, merchandise, choosing them, mm. supporting bands, like everything is like on us. And suddenly like having someone with new ideas, like doing something cool for us, mm. like God, thank you. Like we're gonna take <laughs> everything <laughs> you say, and we have, we're very happy with it. Well, the deluxe release also features a lot of covers on it. I think there are three in total. Yeah. You guys originally started just playing covers. You didn't even think, this yes. is a hobby. You were playing covers for your friends and family. So <laughs> when you think back to a lot of the covers you used to play, which come to mind that you played the most for people? I'd say the one that we have played more is the Bob Dylan one. Yeah, Eating the Me first one. from Bob <laughs> Dylan. And then If You Close from, ¿cómo se llama? Velvet Underground. Ah, Velvet After Hours. After Hours. And then when it, like... Yeah, when it comes to, like, the the two main ones that we recorded at the same time as a record mm. is When It Comes to You from Dead Ghost and Hologramma, uh, Hologramma from Los Nasties. Those are the two songs, because, like, Bob Dylan and stuff were, like, in the first period, like, in 2013. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When we started to play Star Star, like, started, like hey, first let's time touching a guitar. Yeah, let's have a yeah. band. And then we had, like, a break <coughs> for, like, a year and a half and then came back with kind of, like, more of, like, um, focused taste on music. And mm. that's when we covered um, Hologramma and When It Comes to You. And those songs were like the ones that were like, whoa, this is music from nowadays that I think I could write something that I would like mm. as much as this. And that's what, like, we just covered those two songs and then wrote Trivigam. Mm. Like, the next thing after those two was writing our own. Well, just to wrap everything up today, because you very soon have a show to play, anything you want to leave with all the Heinz fans out there who will be viewing the interview? Heinz will come back soon with a new record, hopefully in 2017. Yes. Awesome. We're very excited for it. Thank you so much for chatting today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. My pleasure. And remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. 
Adiós. Bye.